what percent of 20 is 30? Wow! So, in percent, we are getting higher number. Well, that means the percent should be less than 100 or more than 100. We'll figure it out. What percent of 20 is 30? Okay, so how will you do it? So, what is something which you don't know? What percent you don't know of 20 is 30? Let's translate this into our equation. So, what percent is not known? So, we'll write x percent. Okay, so we say x percent of 20 is 30. Does it make sense to you? So, we'll say first we'll translate the statement and write x percent of 20 is 30. Okay, so we don't know what x is. We'll try to figure it out. So let me write it in an equation form. x percent means x over 100, right? So x over 100 of means times 20 is means equal to 30. Do you see that? So x over 100 times 20 equals to 30. Now to find x, we should multiply by 100 and divide by 20. Correct? So we have x is equals to 30 times 100, it goes in the numerator, cross multiply and divide by 20. Got it? Use your calculator to find the answer, right? I can do otherwise also, but I like you to use the calculator at present. 30 times 100 divided by 20 equals to 150. So we get 150. So what percent of 20 is 30? 150 percent of 20 is 30. That is the answer. So it is 150 percent of 20 is 30. That's what we get as our answer, right? That's the answer for us. Now, first try to understand how we did it. What percent? So we don't know. We can say x percent of 20 is 30. So we defined a variable. So the first step is define your variable. Okay. So we say x percent of 20 is 30. And then we simplify your equation. You could have simplified by, you know, cancelling. Divide both by 10, right? You get this. And then divide 10 by 2, you get 5. And 5 times 30 is 150. So at times, you can do it without calculator also. But I prefer you to use calculator at present. So once you become conversant, then do without calculator. Here are some practice problems for you. What percent of 40 is 60? So how will you write your equation? Correct? That's the first part. So you don't know what percent, right? So you can say, I don't know. X over 100, right? Of means times 40 is means equal to 60, right? Now you can find what this is, right? This will be 60 times 100 divided by 40. Is that okay? 60 divided by 40 times 100. Do you understand? So you can write here my this, what you don't know is equals to 60 divided by 40 times 100. Does it make sense to you? That is how you have to translate. Then use your calculator find the answer right similarly do the other two equation you could write any variable question mark or you could say y so say y what percent of 80 is 40 so you don't know say y over 100 this is y percent of 80 is 40 so calculate y 40 divided by 80 times 100 correct so do it yourself so it'll be 40 divided by 80 times 100. Is that okay? That is y. Correct? Now for the last one, what percent of 1200 is 15? What will you do? What percent? You don't know. So define a variable, right? Let's say p percent. How? You can define any variable, right? So you'll say p percent. you say p percent of 1200 is equals to 15, right? So what is P equals to? P is equals to 15 
divided by 1200 times 100 and that is how you are going to solve such problems where you need to find what percent, right? Okay.